Alright guys, in this video I'm going to explain how you can use auto hotkey for Roblox and change your keybinds. So the first thing that we need to do is load up Google and search for auto hotkey. I'll show you how we can download this app. So click on here the, fir for the first link that pops up. It's going to look like this. It's safe, completely safe. So click on download and then download the latest version here. So after we have downloaded it, we'll click right here and we just want to launch this. Now it's going to ask us where we want to install it and just click on install, click yes. And it's going to install the uh, application. I'm just going to go back into my Roblox here. So click on new script and it's going to ask us where we want to create the script. So here we'll have to set a name. So I'll just call it Roblox keys and we'll create it. Now, once we have created the script, it's going to load up the folder here that is going to load. Uh, and what we can do here is actually close the application. And, oops, sorry. And we wanna load up the folder that just opened, right click, open with, and we'll open it with notepad. Now here, what we want to paste is this code and I'll leave it as a pinned comment. So basically what you have to do is here you have to change uh, the letters and the one that you want to replace them with so for example if you want to move with <clears throat> not w a s and d but instead for example t f g h you will just replace this so for example if i want to change the uh, letter w here to t i'll just replace it like this same for a I'll replace it with F, you get, the, you get the gist. So after we have done this, we'll click on here and we'll just save it. Now, after we have saved this, this is gonna be a script. You want to double click on it and then, uh, okay, so here, you download auto hotkey, click on yes. And basically it's just going to install auto hotkey here, the other version. But basically after you have it running, now, like this, if I click on it, double click on it, then as you can see, Roblox hotkey is running and this will replace your key binds. And once you load up Roblox, instead of, well, in my case, like I showed you, instead of using WSND, you can use TFGH and whatever you have key binded. So I hope this makes sense. Leave a like and sub. I'll see you next time.